ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, December the 21st. And while the calendar says it's the official start of winter, the weather outside really feels like it. Let's look at some SkyCam images this morning. Here's a look at our Tuscaloosa SkyCam, and you can see a rather dark-looking cloud out there, and clouds blanket all of central Alabama. But I think we'll see sun this afternoon, the same for Clanton, as we look out over the courthouse down there. Here is the uh, surface map, and the cold front is now well south of Birmingham and moving fairly quickly through the state, so it's going to be out of the picture. And the upper trough is um, moving in pretty well, and you can see the band of clouds. I think that uh, when you get back into Arkansas, it's uh, clear skies, and we should be seeing some sun this afternoon. But here's the big news. Look at those temperatures. Uh, this morning at 6.30, that, uh, or 6 o'clock, the observation time here, uh, the uh, 32-degree line running all the way down into uh, northwest Mississippi, and those freezing temperatures definitely plunging into the area, looking a little bit closer to home. First of all, you can see that uh, we uh, have a lot of clouds over Alabama, but I think we will see the sun probably late this morning and then into the afternoon, but that's not going to help. It's the cold air advection going on, and temperatures are going to hold steady during the day. I think probably for cross-central Alabama, we're going to see temperatures in the upper 30s and lower 40s just holding steady with a strong northwesterly wind, wind advisory in effect for area lakes and uh, northwest wind at 15 to 20 miles an hour with higher gusts. And you can see those uh, brown areas are wind advisories primarily, but a lot of uh, winter weather advisories still in effect as this storm system is bringing a lot of winter weather to the northern tier of the United States. Now here's the QPF. This is actually uh, a day... Uh, four and five. So our next rain event is uh, on tap for late Tuesday, Wednesday, and into Thursday. And I think that uh, it looks right now like Christmas is going to be a wet day. Here's an update on the radar, and you can see the front uh, uh, or the, the rain ahead of the front down into the southeastern part of the state. All right, here's the 06E GFS model run. And we're coming under a ridge tomorrow. This is for uh, Monday at midday, noon. We're coming under a ridge. And uh, that's going to be a cold ridge with the 540 line running down all the way uh, into about, uh, oh, the Tennessee River Valley pretty well and about the vicinity of Coleman. Uh, the ridge holds, and uh, the next system is off to our west out over uh, the Four Corners area primarily, and uh, there's the surface high shifts off. We're going to moderate very quickly. It's going to be very cold today and Monday morning. Uh, and Monday, as a matter of fact, but by Tuesday afternoon, we should be back up into the 50s for highs, and you can see moisture returning off to our west on uh, Tuesday. Uh, the one system comes by, you can see that up over the Great Lakes, and the second system hanging back over Southern California, and uh, that first system brings a surface low across the Great Lakes, and that drags the front down into the area, so I think uh, Wednesday is going to be wet with the possibility of some thunderstorms. The second system begins to come out on Thursday, and that's the problem. It uh, drags the front down into the area, going to stay here, so I think Thursday or Christmas Day is going to be wet as well, and it looks like with uh, that south westerly flow aloft uh, and the primary energy with these storms a little bit further to the north of us it looks like the front's going to stay in the area so it looks like Friday is going to be somewhat wet too. By Saturday the the western system out there is now gelling up a pretty sh uh, strong short wave now over New Mexico and that uh, is going to bring another storm system out across uh, Texas and Oklahoma uh, and that uh, will eject out to the northeast on Sunday, the 28th, and so uh, that will bring another frontal system into the area. So certainly an active weather pattern here for the next several days, uh, even though we're going to have a couple of uh, dry days. And by uh, Monday, the 29th, it looks like we uh, settle into high and it's going to be a question of whether or not the front is right in our vicinity or not. It looks like the GFS is suggesting it'll be maybe a little further south of us. So it looks like an unsettled weather pattern. Now, real quick out into voodoo land, here's the uh, 500 millibar pattern. And uh, the NAO is still suggesting a negative trend, which means we ought to be cold. The GFS, however, this is the 1st of January. 278-hour uh, uh, forecast and definitely not cold. And the same is true on the 4th of 
January 2009, a short wave coming across. It would be uh, certainly wet, but that certainly doesn't look cold. So some disagreements there, which means I don't really trust the GFS that well. Thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Uh, James should be back tomorrow morning with the next edition, bright and early around 7 o'clock. Have a great Sunday and Godspeed.